Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resonette or welcome back. If you're one of my subscribers, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, today, I'm going to be trying this this mold. It's these guys that are kind of sitting there like this with their feet and they've got their elbows on their knees. And to me, the inside of it kind of looks like they've got um, at least... It, it kind of looks like it would look like they had post-it notes or something covered in on them, okay? But anyway, I decided to do three of them. They come for sale one at a time, okay? I mean, you're, when you're buying it, you're buying one. But um, I got three of them because I thought it would be fun to make a little uh, group of them. And I like to do things like that in threes, as you've probably kind of noticed. But I was sitting here, I've made up eight ounces of J-Diction, and I'm hoping that they'll each only take about two ounces, but I'm worried it could be just a bit more than that. Um, but we're going to give it a try. Actually, no, as I look here, I've made up closer to 10 ounces because I, I went all the way almost to the top of this cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three ounces in each of these three cups. Just get me down to about the seven. Okay. And the last three ounces leave me about an ounce left. There we go. That's pretty close. Well, almost pretty close. Let's see. They look pretty even, actually. Maybe a bit more in this one, just a bit. There we go. Okay, I've got one ounce left. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do one in black, one in white, and one in gold. Okay? So I'm going to use my Lares pigment paste. And, you know, I get a lot of comments on my pigment paste use. Um, I just want you to know that I've worked with pigment paste quite a bit, and I know that I use more than some of you do, but just know that I know that. <laughs> okay, I mean, I appreciate the comments and suggestions, but, um, but I realize I use more than most people, and that is just the way I like to do it. Okay, so I'm putting my blob in there, and obviously start with less pigment paste if you'd like and then add to it if you need to but i want a really nice white um i don't want it i don't want this to be a ghosty white with like a little bit of a translucency to it i want it nice and opaque so that is what i'm gonna do with this white okay Nice and white. Put my lid on this one. Okay, and now I'm going to use my India ink, my black velvet India ink. I'm gonna push the lid down really well. Let's see if I can kind of shake this up a bit without it splattering out all over the place. And I'm just gonna put a couple drops in here. One, two, three, four, five, about. It might have been closer to six, but okay. Again, I just want a really nice rich black. I don't want it to be translucent. It's got a bit of a bit of my black in here. Get that out of there real quick. I'm gonna scrape it across the bottom, make sure I get it over the, all across it. These water bottles are great. They, the bottom center of it though has got a hump. So I've got to always make sure I kind of scrape that off, make sure that's getting mixed really well. Okay, 
There's that one. And now the last one is going to be in gold. And I don't really have a gold unless I do this India ink. This is my uh, Bombay India ink, Dr. Martens. And if I do, if I, if I don't do something like this, then everything else I do in my mica powders is going to be a bit metallic. I really don't want that. So I'm going to look at this India ink here. I'm going to take the lid off and see just how golden that might be. Um, that might be an okay. This might be okay. I wanted it a bit brighter than that, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just put a little in here. A little bit. About like that. And then I think what I'll do is then I will go ahead and add some of my yellow opaque cast and craft pigment. Okay, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Let's get this out. These cast and craft tubes are really hard to get out. There's one drop. Two. One more. Three. There we go. Usually I end up snipping the tips off of those cast and craft because they're just so hard to, so hard to um, squeeze the little drops out of there. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and give it a try at this, and we'll just kind of see how this kind of golden one turns out. And give it a quick spray. And in these molds, because there's so many little crevices, the sides are kind of opaque, I feel like. They're, I mean, kind of matte. Maybe a combination of matte and shiny, really. But, but I'm going to go ahead and spray down in here. So I can kind of help prevent my bubbles from coming up. Give it a good squeeze. Come down out this way. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and start with the white. Hopefully this guy will stand up okay when we get him full. Hopefully this will be enough. Might be closer to four ounces. Might be off just a bit. Come on, we're almost going to make it. Almost. Oh gosh. Almost. So not, I mean, just barely over three ounces. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've saved this ounce. I'm going to see if I can just divide it up between these. Do about a third in each one. Hopefully that'll be enough. And spoon, I'm going to see if I can just kind of take the white that I still had in here and just make it just a bit white enough to go ahead without adding any more pigment paste. If you watched my channel very much, then you really probably already understand that I really love trying new molds. That's just fun for me. I really enjoy it. Um, I like trying different te techniques with the resin as well. Um, but I kind of tend to lead towards a lot of the molds. Okay, so I'm adding another one third of an ounce, and that is just about perfect. Okay, so at least this one here took right at about two and one third ounces. Okay, 
I'm going to give this quick spray. And I'm hoping I can get this because it's in one of those really stretchy molds. I'm hoping I can get it over there without it squeezing out the top to my curing rack. Let's see if I can peel off the bottom and get it from underneath. There we go. All right, I'm going to take it over there, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, let's set that out of the side here. Now let's go ahead and we'll keep going. Do the black. Squeeze that all inside of there. And I'm going to do one more spray in my black here. And go ahead and pour kind of slowly. My resin is still pretty thin, so shouldn't have too many problems with it getting into all these little crevices. Gosh, come on. Boy, I even added a third of an ounce. That is one thing that's kind of odd about some of these molds is that they're kind of, you know, they're all the same, but sometimes they're not all the same. So I'm going to top the rest of this. Got just a little bit of resin in there. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the rest of this black. And if that golden color isn't enough, then I might just come back and then give him a different color of shoes or just do something a little bit different with the very bottom of the base. Stir this up real quick. I don't know this is going to be enough even. Okay, let's hope that we can get this topped off here. Stay there. It's very kind of wobbly. Don't want to knock it over. Come on. Even though that was. 10 ounces, I think it's just not going to be quite enough. So I'm going to have to mix up a bit more. Okay, but for now, I'm going to give this a quick spray. And I'm going to go ahead and set it over on the curing rack. I'm going to move it the same way here from underneath. And I'll be right back. Okay, and here is our last one. A little bit of black in there. With that stick, I'm just going to blend it in. Okay. And go ahead and do some alcohol in here. Squish it in. Okay. And this is almost looking like it's not blended very well. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple quick stirs. Have a quick spray. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pour this one. As you can see I've got some micro bubbles coming in, but that's okay. Like I said, this is kind of a um, kind of more of an opaque. I mean, a more of a frosted mold. So I don't think you're going to even be able to tell. And gosh, these are so kind of top heavy. Makes me nervous not holding on to them. Yeah, this one felt came up pretty short. Isn't that funny? I had almost exactly the same amount of resin made up for each one of them. And uh, they're all kind of filling a little bit different rates there. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and set that over 
and then I'm going to make up some more resin and then I'm just going to top them off with um, the same colors and I'm probably not going to film that. Okay. So other than that, I will be back and we will unmold these when they're all done. Okay. I will see you then. Okay. So here we are with our little guys are all completely cured. Um, went ahead and came in and filled this up with the rest of black and white. And then this one, I decided not to try to match that exactly. So I actually just topped it with some clear. Okay. And I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, but let's take them out of here and see. Again, we've got these really stretchy molds. So it's super easy to get them out of here. I'm going to just try to peel this down over and see. Because there's a smaller part up here at the head than there is at the base. It makes it easy to take it out. You can just pretty much just peel it backwards and then it just pops right back into shape. And here he is with kind of a kind of a basket weave or um, what do you call that pixelated look. To me, he kind of looks like he's got post-it notes all over him, but here he is. It's kind of a really interesting, interesting looking little guy. Yeah, interesting. So let's see the black one. Turned out really pretty. I definitely like this kind of a mold done with opaque colors. Personal preference because when you've got a lot of detail in the mold, an opaque uh, mold is going to show a lot more detail. See? Yeah, really kind of cool looking. I really don't see any bubbles or anything. And here they are. Very, very interesting. Very interesting molds. Okay, let's get this gold one out of here. Take it out the same way. And then here he is too. He's got his feet are just a bit translucent, but you know, it's frosted. So it's not like it's a shiny, um, not like it's a shiny mold where you would almost just lose the look of the feet. A, because it's frosted too, that definitely helps. Yeah. So I just think that these are kind of neat looking. Whoops. I think they're kind of just really kind of cool. Let me know what you think about them. I, I kind of like them. All right, you guys, just simple, easy, not a whole lot of work to do on these. Um, just, you know, now just kind of trying to figure out where I'd like to set them and arrange them together. But I think they were a lot of fun. And I'm always, always having fun with molds that are just really different and interesting. So. Let me know if you know of a mold that you think that I would enjoy. Let me know, send me a link or post a link if you can in the comments. And um, I'd be happy to check it out and see if it's something I'd like to do. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day and I will see you all next time.